seeing you, man. And this is so weird because um, I was with um, Strut Entertainment last week, and they were the ones who reminded me that uh, the CMAOs was happening. And I'm like, wait a second. Didn't we just do this? <laughs> and honest to God, it feels like it was just like that you and I did this, you know, sort of s- exact setup. The year so much flew, even though I've been getting emails about everything that's been going on with uh, the CMAOs. It was just like, wait a second. It's coming up this way. Wait, it's so early. It's just, I know. It's, it's, yeah, actually, it's been 12 months. And it's funny it how much... Like how much out of the regular routine of things post COVID uh, we we're just all still scattered sometimes and can't, you know, time passes quickly, but it's been 12 months. Um, and we're, we're super thrilled. Um, super thrilled to be presenting, uh, our, our 11th award show already. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. And in a, in a great city too, that's going to be happening. Yeah. Going to Hamilton. It's, uh, going to be great. Um, and it's uh, very close. Uh, it's uh, it all starts June second, so um, you're right. It's just a couple of weeks away. Uh, and other than the cold days that we you know experienced uh, throughout this month, uh, it, it's it's going to be back warm again. It's going to be beautiful because not only are we inside, but as you learned starting last year, we're also outside with events and things going on all weekend. I want to talk about the events. And I want to talk the award show, but I want to talk about. Uh, the CMAOs in general, as you said, this is the 11th, uh, but it took a while to actually have this award show happen to celebrate country music artists from Ontario. It wasn't just something that happened overnight. Oh, no, it took a, it took a number of years. Uh, it's the 11th show, but the association has been older, you know, been running longer than 11 years. Um, and as you know, it, it took a while to muster uh, everything together that has to come together in order to, you know, Put on a show, um, get people there, have a venue, have a good venue, have a great night, have good sound, good lights. You know, it should be a good show. You're paying to go. We want to give you a fantastic show. Uh, so it's the 11th already. And this year, yes, Hamilton. So uh, Theater Aquarius is the venue. Uh, if you've never been, I mean, it's a, <laughs> it, I'll say it's a tiny Massey Hall. It's a beautiful, beautiful theater. Uh, so many great shows happen there. And ours is about to happen there uh, next on June the 4th. But you were asking about the weekend. So, yes, we're in Hamilton. Things kick off. Um, oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Before, you get to, before you get to the weekend, I'm going to get to that. Sure. But there's something I want to remind folks, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, the first one that we did 11 years ago, yeah. and I know I was there for that, um, it was in Markham. Yeah. Uh, the award itself looked like a boot, a wooden boot. <laughs> yes, it did. But the important thing was the person that was honored that night was the late Gordon Lightfoot. Gordon Lightfoot was honored, yes, a number of years ago, winning uh, an impact award, of course, for, you know, Ontario artists, lifetime contributions. And how could you ever go through a few years and not recognize Mr. Lightfoot? Um, so I'll tell you with the recent, of course, news of his passing, uh, he won't be forgotten this weekend either. Ah, good to know. Let's get to the weekend. What's going to be happening? Because people always look at the award show itself, but people don't realize there are a lot of fun things that happen leading up to it. Yeah. Festivals and events. You're absolutely right, Rudy. Uh, you, you can be a member and participate in, uh, some of the closed door, uh, activities and sessions. You can be a member of the public and, Just show up for free on Saturday and Sunday and enjoy things. So, indeed, I'll tell you, Friday night things start with our traditional songs and stories, which is going to happen at Mills Hardware. Um, That's Friday night. Uh, Saturday, that's when the festival happens. And the festival is happening at Pier 4 Park. So if you're familiar with Hamilton, so it's on the water and it's at Pier 4 Park. We've got stuff going all day uh, Saturday and Sunday. That's the CMA Ontario Festival. Uh, there'll be artisans, vendors, kid zones, and free entertainment. Concerts on Saturday night, concert on Sunday night. So two days of fun, free music in June. <laughs> what, what could be better? Um, other events uh, include uh, the Bonfire Concert on Saturday. 
So we collect a whole bunch of uh, up and coming artists um, and feature them. Um, oh man, I don't even know where to start in terms of the lineup. Um, Graham Scott Fleming, Dana Reed, uh, Lee Saunders, David Boyd James, Robin Ottolini, uh, Owen Riegling. These will be some of the people performing on the uh, Saturday night. Uh, Friday night is uh, Songs and Stories. We have uh, Dwayne Thompson and Jim Witter. Yeah, I know how many songs is uh, Dwayne written. Uh, Renee Ray, they're going to tell their songs and stories. It's an intimate night and always fun, but we're really looking forward to the all day events outside Saturday and Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday at the kids zone and at our festival activities. So yeah, we hope and- you'll join us for the shows. They're free. And then Sunday, as you mentioned, um, yeah, the award show goes. And I mean, it's a star studded lineup. It's the 11th. We've got performances by uh, Carly June, Graham Scott Fleming, Sasha, Lee Saunders, Nate Haller, Jason Blaine, among others. Uh, Western Swing Authority will be there, of course, and many members of that band do the house band, which is, I mean, imagine playing with these guys, you know. <laughs> the artists have such a jam and such a great time. Um, Jade Eagleson's on the bill. We're going to have us some good times, and we hope you'll join us, too. Always, always have good times. Just curious, are fans going to be able to be, you know, close by to, because I'm not sure where the red carpet's going to be. Sometimes you've been have uh, had a chance for fans to be around the red carpet. Sometimes not. What's the setup this time? Well, uh, you'll have opportunities. Of course, uh, Theater Aquarius um, is a uh, a building with a front as opposed to going around the whole building. So things will be quite concentrated. So yeah, the front entrance is pretty much going to be the front entrance for everybody. <laughs> you know, and here's the other thing I want fans to know the, to know too. If you're in Hamilton, okay, and you decide I'm going to Tim Hortons that weekend, you could be lined up next to or bumped into one of those great stars and nominees. That's the cool thing about this weekend. You have no idea who you're going to be running into because they're going to be all over the place. And these people will stop and say hi and, you know, sign something and take a photo. And yeah, you just got to keep your eyes open and your ears probably because some of them probably sing while they're standing in line, you know, <laughs> the shower, I'm sure. So just keep your eyes and ears open. Um, uh, but it's all centered around um, uh, the Sheraton, the Hamilton Public Libraries, where we're doing our, our closed seminars for members on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, and you can still sign up to be a member. I mean, if you've ever wanted to know anything about the music business and how it works, um, here's a collection of professionals from Ontario and beyond. We deal with everything, starting new artists, helping map out careers, explaining what publishing is. How do you get a manager? Do you even need a manager yet? Um, just collect all kinds of opinions and conversations, meet new people, make new contacts, make new friends. We all know it's a relationship business, so here's a great place to get started. Yeah, no, absolutely. And just just an FYI, too, I've actually talked to some other uh, Canadian country artists, not from Ontario. They are actually flying in for this show. So, like I said, it's not just a celebration for Ontario. It's a celebration, really, across Canada because everybody wants to be here. But this is an amazing thing. What's going on with the award show itself? How is that going to work? Who's going to be hosting? And can you throw out, I mean, you throw out some names already, but who are some of the uh, nominees we should be looking out for? Today? Yeah, for sure. Hosting this year, uh, Jason McCoy and Shannon Ella. So usually where Shannon goes, Stephen Lee's not far behind. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, um, well, nominees, I mean, nominees, as I said before, get to perform on the show. So uh, we've got Robin Adelini and Nate Haller, Carly June for the for the first time on the big stage, which is, again, a great development, graduation of talent, trying to help move people along, give them exposure, let them play to fans. Uh, Graham Scott Fleming, local to the area, uh, Sasha, Lee Saunders. Uh, we have our Francophone contingent, Vincent Bishop, Renee Ray. They'll be there because, of course, we annually award a Francophone Artist of the Year as well because there's a very strong contingent of Francophone country living in Ontario. Uh, Andrew Hyatt, uh, who I bumped into last night, so I just didn't expect to see him. But see, standing in Tim Hortons. It wasn't Tim Hortons, but hey, Andrew, what the heck? Uh, Ryan Langdon, of course. Uh, Owen Riegling, Western Swing. Uh, Julian Taylor's coming. And Julian Taylor oh, will be there. Yeah, I know. We're, we're attracting some attention here. And, you know, I must say, 
the the award show the weekend you know isn't possible without the wonderful support of slate music yes um they're presenting sponsor again our mandates align and we're all working hard to develop new talent in the format and try to help guide them along the way also to ontario creates uh for funding uh the festival um, can't do it without them. We thank them again very much and do all our sponsors who uh, think it's a good idea to be attached to this and uh, and, and do business with uh, with our segment of uh, of the industry in Canada. Absolutely. Just curious, any tickets available for the public? Oh, absolutely. CMAontario.ca, one-stop shop. You can uh, become a member today. You can sign up. You can buy a pass and enjoy. Um, uh, very inexpensive. And uh, we think you get a lot out of it. Everyone works so hard, all volunteers, me, the board, everyone's a volunteer. Um, and we work very hard because we're passionate about supporting the industry and passionate about, uh, you know, developing new talent and helping people along. It's a tough way to make a living, but, you know, it can be done if you've got the passion and uh, the right attitude and good people around you. And that's what we're trying to foster this weekend. And for me, the, for the first time, I'm actually going to be sitting in the audience to watch the show i'm so used to doing the red carpet and backstage and everything else somebody uh actually invited me to come and sit in the audience and i said you know what i've been doing for decades always doing the other thing for once in my life yeah. i'm gonna sit in the audience and enjoy it so i cannot enjoy wait. it well i hope you do of course we're gonna find you know you're, you're still gonna be fraught with distractions <laughs> from everyone who knows you of course but <laughs> Yeah, we can put a do not disturb sign on you or something so that you can <laughs> fully enjoy it. I'm glad you get to do that because it is different when you're working the event. And when yes. you do get to be able to sit down and just take it all in and let your mind clear and um, have it be affected by by the presentation for a couple hours. I honest, and no lie, I cannot remember the last time I actually sat at an award show i think this is the first one and i'm not lying at least over 20 years this is gonna be the first time well, it's we'll have, always we'll, been we'll have help close by in case uh <laughs> in case you freak out and it's a new experience for you <laughs> i gotta interview somebody somebody please <laughs> yeah. i cannot wait okay so one more time for folks who want to get tickets uh for for the for the award show and just to know everything where do we go cmaontario.ca cannot wait brother thank you so much for the interview thank you so much for promoting uh not just country music in ontario but really helping to promote across the country because this is what, what it's all about and yes there are country artists in the u.s u.s in britain and in australia but i still think the red and white is the best and you guys hey. are proving that all the time so thank you thanks so rudy thanks for giving us uh some time uh with you and your audience and just always a pleasure and uh with people like you supporting us it really helps the initiative so thank you 